In the tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple 3D logo animation in After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition and call it Main for the main comp, 1920 by 1080 and 10 seconds for the duration. Click OK. Then create another composition and name it Logo. I'll make it 600 by 600. Then drag the logo of your choice into the logo composition. Press S on the keyboard and adjust the scale if needed. Then go back to the main composition and drag the logo comp in here. Straight away make it 3D by checking this box, but if you don't see this column, click on toggle switches on modes until you do, and make it 3D. Now let's create a background by right click new solid, I'm going to name it BG, and for the color I'm going for something off white, and make sure to place it below the logo comp. So the way we achieve extrusion in our logo is by duplicating the logo composition a handful of times, and offsetting each subsequent one on the Z axis just by one pixel. So you could either do that yourself individually, duplicate layer and move them one by one, or do something really simple. So here's what you have to do. So select the logo composition, press P on the keyboard, right click on the position and select separate dimensions, then click away, hold the Alt key and click on the Z position stopwatch, just left click and type the word index. Then click away and once you start duplicating the layers as many times as you want, this little expression will do all the work for you. So before we start duplicating though, let's go to effects and presets and search for brightness and contrast. Add it to the logo composition, set brightness to minus 150 and also check the use legacy. And we did this to create shading on our logo once it's a 3D object. So now I'm going to select the logo composition and duplicate it 30 times. You can do as many times as you want, so the more duplicates, the more extrusion you will get on your logo. As you can see, I've got 30 copies of the logo composition. And just to clean things up, I'm going to select the second logo from the top, then scroll down all the way and select the second logo from the bottom. Then I'm going to click this button, the shy button, and activate the shy mode to hide those unnecessary layers because we don't need to see them. We'll be working with just the first and the second one. Select the first logo layer right now and delete the brightness and contrast from it. Now let's quickly add drop shadow to the last logo layer, that would be the furthest one to the wall, or to, to the background. So add that to the last logo layer, to the 30th one. And in the facts and presets, I'm going to set softness to 100, and that is pretty much it. And now to show you that the logo is now a 3D object, or at least we made it to be a 3D object, go to layer new camera. I'm going to select the 50mm preset, then press C on the keyboard, or select the camera orbit tool and move the logo around, you can see that it's a 3D object. And you can see that it has shading on the sides, that's because of the brightness and contrast effects we applied to all those layers. Now let's go to layer, new, null object. I'm going to rename it to cam control to stay organized and make it a 3D object by checking the box. Then parent the camera by dragging the pickup tool from the camera onto the null or the cam control now and let go. Now select the cam control and press R on the keyboard. Create keyframes for XYZ rotations, then hold shift and press S on the keyboard to bring up scale. Also create a keyframe for scale, then drag and select the rotation keyframes only and move them forward for now. Then at the beginning of the timeline, let's set X rotation to be 45 degrees, Y rotation 45 and Z rotation to 15 degrees. So in case if you want a different angle, you can experiment with the values yourself. So now I'm going to select the selection tool, then move to 4 seconds exactly and move the end keyframes to 4 seconds. Then for the scale, you can actually decrease the scale and that will bring the logo closer. So I'm going to set mine to 70%. Then drag and select all the keyframes, right click on any of them, keyframe assistant is a user, you can press F9 as a shortcut, go to the graph editor, right click, make sure you edit speed graph, then select this uh, right point here, nicely select all of them, and drag the handle to the left until the influence is about 75%. Then click away and select the scale only. Select the left point for the scale and drag the handle to the right until the influence is again about 75%. Then exit the graph editor and preview what you have so far. Then this might get a bit heavy so you can always drop the resolution to a half or a third because we're working in 3D and that you know, takes a lot of resources. And so far, that's what we have. So now let's add that light sweep effect, that a, cl a really cliche effect. Go to effects and presets, search for CC light sweep. Add it to the uh, first logo, the first one to the front. I'm going to set shape to smooth, sweep intensity to 50, edge intensity to 100. And make sure you at the beginning of the composition, select the center point right here, click it and place it at the bottom left corner of the logo composition. Create a keyframe for center at the beginning. Go to your 4 seconds, 
and just drag this point and you know move it across the logo to the top right corner then press U to see the keyframes, drag and select them both, press F9 to easily ease them, go to the graph editor and do the same thing. Just drag the points inwards until the influence is about 75% for both sides. And we can do another preview do with the light sweep included. And that looks a lot better in my opinion. So now at this point, uh, if you want to add a secondary animation like a scaling of the logo, you can go to the logo composition itself. If you don't already see the scale values of the logo, select it and press S on the keyboard until you do, and create a keyframe for scale. Move that keyframe forward for now. Set scale to be zero at the beginning of the timeline. Go to one second and move the end keyframe to one second. Drag and select them both, press F9, go to the graph editor, and move the right keyframe handle all the way to the left to nicely smoothen out the animation. You can go back to the main composition now and see the scale up of our logo. Now at this point you can add your text, whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to select the type tool here and type google.com. I'm switching back to the selection tool to reposition the text. I'm going to align it horizontally and move it slightly up. Then at 4 seconds I'm going to press P on the keyboard to bring up position. I'm going to hold shift and press T to bring up opacity and create keyframes for both. Then move back one second, increase the Y position value slightly to bring the text down a bit and opacity to 0%. Then I'm going to drag and select the keyframes, press F9, go back to the graph editor, select the right point for both values and drag the handle all the way to the left. And now we should have a simple text animation. In case if you feel like the timing is off, you can always, you know, move those keyframes either forward or backward. So in my case, I want to move them to 2 seconds, so the animation happens sooner. And this is pretty much the complete look of our LEGO animation. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like, that would really help me out a lot. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.